SportsNola.com, visiting with Jay Cicero of the Greater New Orleans Sports Foundation, getting ready to host the AAU Junior Olympics again this year. And, uh, Jay, what does this mean at a, at a time of year when the city doesn't normally have a lot of events coming in to be able to host uh, this many athletes, this many parents, and, uh, and this type of sporting event? Well, it's, it, it shows uh, our versatility uh, that uh, the organization, the Greater Northern Sports Foundation, has in managing these events. Uh, this is actually the third time we've hosted the AAU Junior Olympic Games uh, back in 1996, 2005, and, uh, and, and this year. So uh, it means a lot to the hospitality community. Uh, over 18,000 athletes have been confirmed uh, uh, for the event. Um, and doing and participating in 19 different sports uh, across the city. Uh, by far the biggest uh, sport would be track and field, uh, and uh, it is a, a, a record for both Re- record participation for track and field over 13,000, and record participation in the AAU Junior Olympic Games overall with 18,000. We're standing inside the. Morial Convention Center, which is going to host the majority of these events. It's great to have a facility like this, which so much floor space that you can put so many of these events under one roof. Absolutely. It helps us logistically, uh, and it is, presents a little bit of a challenge to move in and move out uh, in, in the same space. However, uh, combined efforts for volunteers, uh, merchandise, uh, medical uh, 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 all of the uh, hospitality, food and beverage for uh, for the officials and volunteers all set up through here. The uh, registration for every event outside of track and field uh, is held here also. So you'll have 5,000 kids come through here, 6,000 kids come through here just to register, uh, plus, you know, 3,000 coaches uh, and their families. Uh, so it's you know, it's around 30,000 people overall that will come through New Orleans uh, over the next 10 days for competition, ranging from, you know, three to five days, uh, sometimes uh, uh, seven days of competition, depending on if they're, if they're registered for multiple events. So uh, we're just pleased as punch to have this event back in New Orleans and, and uh, to show off, uh, you know, that New Orleans is a, is a great family uh, city. What will the people in New Orleans, they come out to this event, either here at the Convention Center, Tad Gormley, or some of the other venues, what will they see in terms of competition? Well, they're going to see, uh, on, on most events, it's going to be uh, e- extremely high-level uh, competition uh, uh, on a youth level. Uh, uh, some events are open, uh, and, and by the time you get to the, the finals, you'll see uh, extremely high-level of competition. But... Uh, track and field is qualifier to get here, uh, and it's uh, different age groups. Uh, so specifically at track and field, I think people will be absolutely amazed having this amount of athletes, uh, 13,000 athletes in track and field alone. Uh, and running a track meet, uh, a youth track meet, is really a three-ring circus to begin with, but the organization it takes and the step-by-step process to even get you know the 3,000 kids who are who are competing in the the 100 meters uh, to the to their heats on time is absolutely amazing. So it's a step by step process, and and I think people will be amazed at uh, of how it all comes off. And stay tuned to SportsNola.com for coverage all throughout the next 10 days of the AAU Junior Olympic Games. Thanks, Jay. Thank you, Lenny.